Okay, here we go. Vlog two. I got the questions right here. Uh, what aspect of the kingdom is in view this week? Define and describe it briefly. Well, we went from the pattern of the kingdom to uh, a parish kingdom. If I can describe it briefly. Well, um, briefly speaking, uh, we went from God's people being Adam and Eve to God's people being no one. God's place to being gar the garden, from the garden to being banished from the garden. Uh, God's uh, blessing from the perfect relationship to broken relationships. What is the synopsis of this? part of the storyline summarized in the chapter. Well, we start with the talking snake, aka Satan, who um, tricks or coerces Eve into taking a bite of the fit of forbidden the fruit, uh, saying that she would be much like God. And she gives it to Adam. Um, this causes the curse. Uh, and uh, this curse is uh, where we find with Mass of Dark Three, which is how does it seem so far that this aspect of the kingdom sets the foundation for a biblical storyline? Because with this curse, we now look for. Um, something to redeem us from the curse uh, man tried in many ways and failed uh, we have great leaders throughout the bible in this this part of sin the curse being sin uh, is found throughout the bible and it plays a vital role in this storyline in fact, it becomes a big part of the storyline because whereas first the storyline, uh, when we were talking about the pattern of the kingdom, seemed to be more so along the lines of holiness and oneness with God. Uh, the parallel uh, on the other side of the coin is uh, sin, the curse. Okay, so now we're looking at the curse of things. Uh, the curse of thing is the spread of sin and death. And now, uh, surely you will surely die. God, uh, God says, if you eat of this uh, this fruit in the garden, so Adam and Eve find themselves in this spot where uh, Adam and Eve find themselves in the spot where. They, uh, they're responsible for the death of uh, mankind, the cycle of death. You know, you have life and you have death. Whereas at first we were in this eternal resting state with God. But now we're looking at a more serious consequence here. Uh, we go from being at rest, uh, in rest to what Satan defines as awake because we can now, yeah, so we find ourselves uh, looking for assurance of, um, of the consequences of Adam and Eve. And even to this day, we're looking at it, uh, people are still kind of taking, as the author said, taking things in their own hand as, uh, as far as um, going from Okay, they did more than just break the law. Uh, they went from being lawbreakers to lawmakers, you know, uh, so to speak. They were. It, it's almost like they made a, a god of them of themselves, uh, which we get to that part where you know God was the king of creation. Here, mankind established themselves as king of creation. God, you know, God being the author of creation. Satan comes along and acts like he's the co-author 
of creation and it just put a spin on things with just a trick question and uh, we're getting to question four how does this chapter contribute to the significance of seeing the holistic big picture of the bible well throughout the whole bible um we talk of the coming of redemption for uh, mankind who who uh stepped into the curse um through rebellion and uh, we see this rebellion start to unfold at great lengths with uh, Cain and Abel which is the next generation uh, you got the Tower of Babel um, you got God wiping the the, uh, the earth with the flood uh, you got um, it, this is this is all part of the pair's kingdom. And so, I think this sets the tone uh, where the first chapter was more, the first chapter of Genesis was more so the kingdom of light. This sets the tone for the kingdom of darkness uh, being inside the earth.